Good day, everyone. Jamie Chapman for Three Minute Histology. We're continuing our exploration at the moment of the epidermis. So in the previous videos, I've had a look at um, an overview of the integumentary system. We've looked at the uh, sublayers of the epidermis, and we've looked at some of the finer details about the um, the cell types found within the various sublayers. And it was a very quick overview. Three minutes obviously isn't very long. What we were using was a resin section, and, and of course not everyone's going to have access to a resin section. Most people will probably be looking at sections of paraffin uh, sectioned uh, skin. So that's what we're going to look at today, we'll look at the epidermis um, of the uh, paraffin section, so you can actually identify um, the various sublayers and the various components. Again, this is thin skin, so previously we were looking at thick skin with the resin section, this is thin skin, so I thought it would be uh, a nice difference to have a look at that. So let's start our three minutes. Okay, so um, as I mentioned, this is thin skin. We can tell it's thin skin because it's got hardly any evident uh, stratum corneum, the dead cell layer. So previously in thick skin, we have five layers, sublayers of the epidermis. Uh, in thin skin, we have four. So we don't have that stratum lucidum uh, appearance. What we do have is this really nice uh, layer of uh, keratinocytes with melanin associated with them. Um, so these look really nice here with the brown pigment. Um, if we zoom in a little bit, so this is our stratum basal, and so our keratinocytes that have the uh, melanin within them are uh, very uh, brown in appearance. And then sort of any sort of pale staining cell which you find in the stratum basal is likely to be a melanocyte uh, or a Merkel cell. Merkel cells tend um, to be much fewer uh, in number than uh, the melanocytes. So again, we've got this sort of pale cell. So that's either a melanocyte or a Merkel cell, uh, largely, predominantly a, a melanocyte. Then we have the stratum spinosum. You can see here, um, the cells are quite pale. Um, obviously, this is a artifact related to, to fixation. So what it does do is it actually makes identification of um, uh, the Langerhans cells within the stratum spinosum quite tricky in this type of section. Uh, I will just show you this really lovely uh, uh, micrograph, uh, which was um, taken by um, someone from Twitter. Um, this is a, a immune uh, stain where uh, it's actually specifically localized to uh, Langerhans cells. And you can see these big, long cytoplasmic processes and how it forms this network uh, within uh, the layer there. And I'll, um, I'll put a link in the video description for how you can find uh, the researcher, the um, pathologist who actually made this. So thank you very much to Sanjay for, for allowing me to, to present that there. So then we have our stratum uh, granulosum. It doesn't look as uh, granular as the other uh, section we saw, but um, certainly the cells uh, accumulate their ker keratohyaline granules here. They release uh, a lamella substance, uh, glycophospholipid, which helps to um, waterproof the skin in this region. And when they undergo cell death, um, that waterproofing material is released, it covers the surfaces of these living keratinocytes and helps to prevent dehydration or loss of water. The cells undergo cell death. You can see the nuclei actually degenerate and we end up with just these dead cells on the surface and they form this um, um, stratum corneum layer. Um, so those are the major features which we can see. This little sort of drown growth here, this is actually where our hair follicle is. So this is actually the shaft of the hair follicle. And so it's actually a downgrowth of the epidermis. Um, but those are the sort of main things which you can sort of interpret with a, with a paraffin section. Obviously, um, it's a little bit less uh, evident in a paraffin section than a resin section, but I thought it was um, uh, useful for, for me to present this for you guys. Um, hopefully you found it useful. Uh, in the next videos, we're going to be looking at uh, other features, particularly related to the dermis. All right, so I hope you join us then. Hooroo!